largest annual St. Patrick's Day parade in the Southwest, canceled by the city of Dallas. JD Miles joins us live from Greenville Avenue, where businesses are scrambling to cancel orders and offset losses expected from this decision. It's typically a very big weekend for them, JD. Yes. It sure is, Brooke. City leaders are expected to address this decision during a news conference that should start at any moment. It was made after the cities of New York, Chicago, and Boston all canceled their parades as well. They are signs of the season on Lower Greenville Avenue. Oh, it's huge. Um, every year, obviously, people come out and it's a tradition in Dallas. And Jason Berry, who manages Slater's 55th spends weeks planning for St. Patrick's Day and the crowds that will gather for the annual parade and block party outside his doors. Extra food and extra alcohol have to be ordered early. Obviously, it's a, it would be a huge loss if, if, uh, if they cancel. Barry is glad he held off ordering more now that the city has decided to cancel the 41st year of the event over fears of the COVID-19 coronavirus spreading at such a mass gathering. I trust the people that are put in those positions to make the right call. We know this is a beloved city event. Unfortunately, it's not going to happen this year, but we're okay with that. Kevin Vela runs the Greenville Avenue Area Business Association. He says businesses will lose money and students will also lose scholarships from some of the revenue raised. He says a smaller scale event could be organized later in the year to make up for the cancellation and insists. Sure, well, we'll be back next year for sure. Hmm. That's going to be good news to a lot of people. The 125,000 who attend this annual event, the parade and block party. We still don't know about the 5K yet, what the status of that is. But you can still come, of course, to places like Slater's 5050 here for a special event with hats, shirts, and of course, green beer. So they are still hoping to draw a big crowd this weekend. Live in Dallas, JD Miles, CBS 11 News.